In three, two, one, go. Welcome to round robin match number 13 right here in the Northrop Grumman Foundation field. One of our many incredible sponsors of the Vex Robotics World Championship, a longtime sponsor at that. 62A, typically known for their defense, scoring in the 20 point zone right there. Nice job. Blue with the autonomous bonus in three, two, one, go. 62A, they can kind of do it all. A Swiss Army knife of robots, so to speak. Pushing a red goal all the way into a corner, making that a little bit more difficult to manipulate. They're doing some real interesting strategery here. You heard Paul talk earlier about that defensive positioning. Really trying to cut the field here in half. Functioning like an incredible tag team with the other team in blue. That's 929U. A little bit of thunder and lightning, a little bit of offense and defense being played here. 62A, they move quickly, they are powerful. And they're clearing the way right here for 929U. Scoring in the 10 point zone right there. Blue looking strong. Still plenty of time left in this match. A lot of contact there on the far side of the field. This one's getting a little bit chippy. It's real interesting. 62A. Trying to play what I would call the pestering defense. And I mean that in the most positive way possible. Really, really. Getting into Red's business right here, preventing them from really scoring as fluidly as they're accustomed to. Pretty impressive performance being put on here by the drive team on 62A. Really pushing the limits with 20 seconds left here in the match. Here in the North of Grumman Foundation Field. We're in round robin match number 13. We are live in living color right here in Louisville, Kentucky. 929U again, looking to score. 666X trying to shut them down, preventing them from getting into that zone one last time. Looking to score in the stationary goal. They miss it. Not sure that's going to matter. But one second left. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, the 62A robot, so unique. And they put on a driving clinic right there. Pretty interesting stuff. Can't wait to hear it from Paul Karthik. Back to you guys. Oh, I'm excited right now. There's so much going on here. And there's a lot to talk about. So, Paul, talk about the defense. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about the 62A defense right now. You okay. can talk about that a little bit. What I want to talk about is the Red Alliance engineering. They switched to their own defense, but I think they did it a little too late. They saw 62A was pestering them. They have high scoring capability on the cones. They needed to take those two blue mobile goals out of the play so that the blue alliance could, they just kind of, they've kind of left 929U alone to score that third mobile goal. They really needed to quarantine it off. They did play great defense at the end of the match to stop them from scoring the third, the fourth mobile goal, but they, I think they just did it a little too late. So what was so remarkable there is that early on, Sci uh, Science pushed two red goal mobile goals into the corner and they just locked them down. And that was just fabulous to see the defensive strategies actually starting to work now they've gotten into a bit of a groove here. Is it too late though? We're going to find out. Let's take a look at some of the action from that fabulously exciting match. I love you, Paul. <laughs> you guys make me laugh. Okay, 62A in the middle, just trying to play some positional defense there. They're, you know, they're using what they have to block off their, uh, their partner. Now watch this. One robot pushing two robots and a mobile goal across the field. Defense! 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 <laughs> really? You got them to cheer for defense? It's exciting! I and think it's exciting. What else is? It's well-engineered defense. This wasn't just brute force. That robot was engineered for a specific purpose, and it's dealing with that specific purpose. Well, so I think what's happening is these top team, these top tier alliances are seeing how effective defense can be, even in short spurts. And this is why we're seeing all these other teams throw in a little bit of defense here and there. As we get ready to look at our score here, Paul, there's something that goes on in the NCAA tournament, tennis tournaments, World Cup. It's hashtag root for chaos. There's certain fans out there who root for the biggest possible ties to happen. That's you have me. to go deep into the tiebreaker so situations. We're I want to see. We are approaching the world of root for chaos here. So first of all, let's look at our score. Blue Alliance takes it. Science takes it. 89 to 44. The defense pays off. Now let's take a look at our rankings. 
our updated rankings show us that we have technology at the top at 4-0. We have arts at 2-2, two two, math at 2-2, two two, 